Hi everyone, I'm Sang Kim. Today, I would like to share how to calculate multiple regression outputs manually in Excel. So, I hope it is useful for you to get basic knowledge of multiple regression. I have prepared simple data. There are 12 observations and there are three independent variables from X1 to X3. The source of this data is from this book. We want to know the relationship between these three variables and Y variable. In Excel, in order to do regression analysis, go to Data tab and on the right side, click Data Analysis. And you can see regression and select Y range. and select X range from X1 to X3. And the first row is about a uh, variable name. So click labels and change output options here to see output in this spreadsheet. So choose one cell and click OK. Alright, so this is the regression outputs supported by Excel. So we want to calculate these outputs manually. All right? Let's do that. In order to do multiple regression analysis manually in Excel, we need to calculate these four columns and correlation coefficients. And afterwards, also, we need this standard error. So I prepared this uh, matrix form. For easy and comprehensive understanding of our formula, uh, I will give a name for design matrix here. So design matrix should include an additional column filled with one. So this one is X. And this column as Y and select four cells here and let's calculate it by using this formula okay. uh, look at this part so trans transpose x comma x and inverse And multiply by x uh, transpose of x and finally we need to multiply by y right so in order to do matrix in order to use matrix form, we need to press uh, Ctrl Shift Enter together. Ctrl Shift Enter. Right. So this is uh, regression coefficients for B0, B1, B2, and B3. So for Y hat, uh, we can use this formula. So B0, uh, press F4, plus B1, press F4, multiply by X1, and plus and B2 and press F4 and multiply by X2 and plus B3 press F4 multiply by X3 so this is uh, Y hat right for TSS uh, let's use this formula Y bar uh, is average of Y. For Y hat minus Y bar squared, average Y squared. For SSC, Y minus Y hat and squared
So let's sum all uh, values here. All right. So uh, let's fill in uh, ANOVA first here. So total uh, degrees of freedom is uh, 19 because M, uh, the formula is M minus 1. And for uh, residual uh, is 16. And the regression uh, the degrees of freedom is 3 because there are three, uh, three uh, coefficients. Right? So and the, the sum of regression and residual should be equal to this to total uh, degrees of freedom. And sum of square of re regression is this one. And, and residual for this one. Yeah. And mean square is sum of square over degrees of freedom. Right? So for uh, f value, uh, we can calculate f value uh, from uh, mean square of regression over mean square of residual. All right. Uh, significance of f value. So it means uh, it means p value. So f dot dist and x value is equal to 21 and comma degrees of freedom here. And degrees of freedom here. And yep, uh, finally we need to define this is to, uh, cumulative or not. So we need to use cumulative, right? So true. And uh, in F distribution, p value means uh, right tail. So we need to uh, use uh, 1 minus here. All right. So it means that this model is statistically significant because this F value is lower than 5%. And we already calculated the coefficients part here. So this one. Right. So yeah, just I used the same uh, formula. So let's copy and paste. Also, uh, we can use the same thing. For standard error, let's calculate it uh, metric form first, and then let's multiply by MSE, right? So let's select uh, four by four cells, and let's calculate uh, multiply by M MULT, and transpose X, comma, and X. Right, and we need to inverse them. So, inverse, right? And we need to multiply by this MSE, right? And press F4. And uh, we need a standard error, so let me uh, use SQRT. And control shift enter. Right. So we need this green diagonal elements, green color diagonal elements, right? So this standard error is this one, and this standard error, this one, and for x2 standard error is this one, and for finally x3 is here, right? Uh, in terms of t statistic, uh, we can calculate t statistic by coefficients over standard error. There are two positive t statistic and um, two negative uh, t statistic. So we need to be careful when you calculate p value. So firstly, uh, p value can be calculated by um, t distribution. Degrees of freedom. Uh, degrees of freedom is actually 16. 
because there are three uh, parameters and true and we also want to uh, calculate uh, what get uh, right side of t distribution so one minus right and this is two-sided uh, p-value so let's multiply by two okay and we can apply same formula for here however uh, this these two is negative t statistic so uh, when we apply this one so we need to remove one minus because uh, when t statistic is negative uh, actually the the p value is left side right so this one cool so, so the final one for this table is lower bound and upper bound uh, with 95% uh, so we can use uh, lower bound with mm, coefficients minus and t dot imb uh, 1 minus alpha over 2 so which is 0 0.975 and degrees of freedom is 16 and multiply by uh, standard error here And for upper bound, we can use same formula, but we need to change minus to plus, right? And we can uh, use copy and paste. Yep. So this is the lower bound for uh, intercept x1, x2, x3, and upper bound. The final one is this part. So R square, uh, we can calculate R square by uh, SSR over SST. So SSR over SST. And for multiple R, uh, square root of R square. Okay. And adjusted R square, uh, this is from uh, Wikipedia. So R, uh, adjusted R square is especially useful uh, when uh, there are many variables. Uh, we can use adjusted R square, yeah, to in order to you know not to increase R square by adding uh, more variables. So let's calculate one minus one minus R square multiplied by n minus one, which is equal to nineteen, and over. And there are 12 observations and p is 3 because there are three uh, exploratory variables here and minus 1 right and standard error is equal to square root of uh, mse yep and finally observations count So let me capture this part and let's see, oops, sorry. Yeah, so as you can see on the right side, uh, the manual output is same as uh, Excel output. Yeah. So today uh, I showed you how to calculate uh, correlation uh, multiple regression outputs manually. So and uh, we can compare uh, this results with Excel built-in analysis tool. So it is exactly the same. So I hope this video was helpful for you to understand how we can calculate multiple regression outputs manually. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and please click like and subscribe uh, 
to motivate me to upload more useful video clips in the future. Thank you.